Long gone are the days where almost everyone everywhere wants to be a professional, managerial, executive, or in technician roles. These are referred to as PMETs, and the job market in Southeast Asia for these roles has really been evolving. More and more job seekers in Southeast Asia are now keen to land non-PMET roles. Companies, organizations, and even governments in Southeast Asia are taking notice of this. I'm Allison Moore from Chief of Staff Asia, and in this HR Tech Update, we'll be talking about how job seekers can land these non-PMET roles in such a dynamic job market. The transformation among non-PMET roles and their new recognition in Southeast Asia mostly sprung up during the pandemic. Organizations really took notice of how crucial they were after economies worldwide took such a hard hit. In Singapore specifically, the government really took notice of this and they began to redesign how non-PMET roles work across multiple industries. From retail and food and beverage to administrative support, these non-PMET roles were transformed. When that happened, the Singapore government noticed a significant decline in non-PMET vacancies. Roles like this usually have employers focusing more on the relevant work experience and the skills that those candidates have built up over the years instead of their academic qualifications. This was seen among 74% of vacancies in Singapore. It just shows that there's been a real big shift in market expectations when it comes to these non-PMET jobs. These include working in communications, construction, cleaning, landscaping, wholesale trade, manufacturing and production, and a lot more. Positions like this range from waiters to uh, sales assistants, and if you've been paying any attention at all to these companies, you would affirm that these roles do so much for company resilience and growth. It's high time that these non-PMET roles got the appreciation and love that they deserve. With that, the hiring process that HR undertakes for these non-PMET jobs also faces a different set of challenges when compared to PMET hiring processes. Like I said, now HR is focusing more on the relevant work experience, the skills, rather than the academic programs or qualifications and certifications, uh, which may be harder to gauge uh, when it comes to working experience. Fortunately, there's a lot of different recruitment softwares that have really stepped up their game in aiding HR when it comes to this specific issue. I'll mention two examples here in this video, which are Fast Jobs and Grab Jobs. Fast Jobs comes in the form of a mobile application that connects non-executive job seekers to retail employers very quickly. The app gets no cuts when people are hired and the goal is to hire fast uh, and efficiently. There's a wide variety of full-time, part-time, and remote work that's available for students and other types of workers. Uh, users who are searching for jobs using fast jobs can set up their preferences, they can chat directly with their potential employers, and they can even create their own customized resume on the app itself. The next example is Grab Jobs, which is actually also a mobile first application. Job openings on the Grab Jobs platform are actually supplemented and powered by interview chatbots, streamlining the interactions between the job seekers and their employers. Aside from providing a job search and a job alert, there are online courses and a career resources library on the app for users to build their skills. On the employer's end for Grab Jobs, they get to enjoy a recruitment automation platform. It will score and filter the candidates available for that job and then put them through an automated application tracking system. It can even schedule interviews using a smart interview scheduler. Like the jobs themselves, the Sites Learning Hub encompasses a variety of skills and industries from language learning to health and retail. Tech solutions like Fast Jobs, Grab Jobs, and more enable the hiring process for non-PMET roles through potential challenges. These might include leadership changes or budget restrictions. They also allow HR to cast a wider net within the candidate pool and keep costs effectively low and also keep the candidate information confidential. 
As the ASEAN business landscape continuously and rapidly develops, these tech-based solutions are extremely beneficial, especially as non-PMET opportunities become more crucial for job seekers and for their companies alike. Individual job seekers and companies alike can enjoy a more streamlined process as these platforms bridge the gaps in between them and connect skilled individuals to the correct roles for them. I can tell you for sure that tech-enabled solutions are a game changer for HR, for the candidates and job seekers, and for business organizations as a whole. How about you? Have you ever encountered chatbots in your job search? Have you used applications like these or these applications in particular? Or maybe you're a recruiter who's found an amazing tool that you'd like to share with our HR community. We'd love to hear your insights, especially when it's connected to non-PMET roles in this business landscape. Go ahead and leave us a comment in the comment section below, or you can also shoot us a message on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. If you want to see and read more content like this, subscribe to our website's newsletter. Thanks for watching.